Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be solving the equation x to the power of 9 plus x to the power of 6 is equal to 8. So to start, my only variable in this equation is x, so that's obviously what I'm going to be solving for. And now for my solution. I'm going to first start by rewriting x to the power of 9 as x to the power of 3 times 3. And I'm going to rewrite x to the power of 6 as x to the power of 3 times 2. And this is equal to 80. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So, x to the power of 3 times 3, I can rewrite that as x to the power of 3 to the power of 3, plus now x to the power of 3 times 2, I can rewrite as x to the power of 3 to the power of 2, and this is equal to 80. Now from here, I'm going to subtract 80 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I get x to the power of 3 to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 3 to the power of 2 minus 64 minus 16 is equal to 0. Now from here, the reason I rewrote 80 as 64 minus 16 is because sixty four is the same thing as four to the power of three and sixteen is the same thing as four to the power of two. So I have something to the power of three and that same thing to the power of two and then I have four to the power of three and four to the power of two. So I need to match these two. Now I'm going to reorganize this so that the powers of threes are next to each other and the powers of two are next to each other. So I have x to the power of three to the power of three minus four to the power of three plus x to the power of three to the power of two minus four to the power of two is equal to zero. Now I'm going to let x to the power of 3 equal to the variable t. So I get t to the power of 3 minus 4 to the power of 3 plus t squared minus 4 squared is equal to 0. And if I have something in the form a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, this is equal to a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. Also, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So t to the power of 3 minus 4 to the power of 3, let's first use this property on this. So I get t minus 4 times t squared plus 4t plus 4 squared, which is 16, plus t squared minus 4 squared, this is going to equal t plus 4 times t minus 4. This is equal to 0. Now from here, the common factor among these two terms is t minus 4. So if I factor this out, I get t minus 4 times t squared plus 4t plus 16 plus t plus 4, and this is equal to 0. Now t minus 4, I have this times t squared plus 5t plus 20 is equal to 0. And now this gives me two equations. I get t minus 4 is equal to 0, 
and I also got t squared plus 5t plus 20 is equal to 0. So to start, t minus 4 equals 0. This is going to result in t equals 4. All I have to do is add 4 on both sides, and I get this. And t squared plus 5t plus 20 equals 0. To solve this, I have to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is 5, and c is 20. So I get t is equal to negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 5 squared, which is 25, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 20, all over 2a. So 2 times 1. And this is equal to negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 25 minus 80 over 2, which is equal to negative 5 plus or minus the square root of negative 55 over 2. Now, from here, the square root of negative 55 is equal to the square root of 55 times the square root of negative 1. And if you guys already know, the square root of negative 1 is equal to the imaginary number i. So now I get t is equal to negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 55i over 2. So these are two imaginary solutions of t. Now going back, remember how we let x to the power of 3 equal to t. So if x to the power of 3 equals to t, well, we can't take the power of a number and make it equal to an imaginary solution, meaning we can't use this value of t. So the only value of t that I can use is t equals 4. And if t equals 4, I get x to the power of 3 is equal to 4. So now from here, to solve this, I'm going to take the cube root on both sides. So I get the cube root of x to the power of 4 is equal to the cube root of 4. The cube root, or sorry, not. Uh, this is the cube root of x to the power of 3 is equal to the cube root of 4. The cube root of x to the power of 3 is x, so I'm left with x is equal to the cube root of 